Welcome to Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, home of the Los Scandalous Vault and Dam. Wait, what? Both teams share the same arena? Uh, yeah, except when they're playing each other, and then I don't know who the home team is, really. Ah, uh, now I'm confused, Grim. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the Los Scandalous Vaults. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a hellscandal I am a hell and I'll sell them. you are I'm If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Assian. And I nearly did not crap my pants earlier. Nearly as overrated, Grim. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see <laughs> First down and three. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and six. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and six. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And there goes the ref. You know, Bricks, it's a tough job for a ref to control an angry, fired-up gang of mutants. Kind of like asking a zebra to serve tofu kebabs to a pack of starving lions in the Serengeti. You know, Grim, I killed a ref in Rio once. Eh, just to watch him die. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. The kicker ate his bleedies this morning. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he drops one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. Passing game, picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. The defender says, I don't think so. Third down and three. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. First and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and nine. to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog dirt on my front porch every day. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish these... And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Boom, dead and down. Nothing. 
nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. When the coach said the offense was going to be explosive this week, he meant it literally. Second down and ten. quarter one well the good news is there's still time to make it a game and there's still time to get a beer and it's first and ten oh great play he is on that receiver like glue you know when i was little my dad used to make me eat glue my tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth and i couldn't talk your father was a very smart man bricks very smart Second down and ten. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. to a four-yard... Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Finn? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! Second down and six. Hey, man, I was here on the panel now.
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Second down and seven. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and win tonight. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to man at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief, because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. First and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First and two. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and one. point attempt the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said! Uh, didn't work that time. He was close, though. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Now, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Second down and long. And he steamrolls through the defense on that play and picks up a nice chunk of yardage. Third down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, I... The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Oh, come on, man. You got to catch that. I don't catch anything, Grim. I retire. Second down and ten. The defense better look out. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Let me get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. And it's first and ten. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is fun. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from... Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die.
first and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones? Stick? With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry up offense. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second, under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. the punt. What a pussy. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He had it for a second there. into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so And he's off to the races. Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robots aren't supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. I bet you clearly can dance better than that. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brickson. It means he can... Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Lucky find his head! He'll be okay! Second down and five. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's Halftime Show. 
Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected. Those are pretty. It looks like we've got a penalty here. The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. They need a good return here to set up the offense. That is a lousy kickoff. The offense is going to have great field position. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another play. First and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. First and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Bam! He's at the 10, and he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. The 
Lions lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. And with just about everyone on the roster dead, the Los Angeles votes lose by forfeit today. They even killed the ball boy in the mascot. They weren't messing around, Rim. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...